to showing up at churches all over wanting God to give them a toy called a blessing. Bless me with this, bless me with that, give me this, give me that. They want God's toy without him. That's why he's often left in the sanctuary when they go to the parking lot. He says you have left your first love. You don't love me first, you love what I can do for you. You love the blessings I can give you. You love the money you want from me, the jobs you want from me, the better lifestyle you want from me. You love what I can give you, but you don't want me. And you don't want me first because you'll fit me in when you can. He says, I want you to go back to what you did when it was just me and you. There's some people here who are going to say, God, look, I'm going to give you what I give you. That's the best I'm going to give you, and you're going to have to accept that. So you don't have an ear to hear. I'm talking to the church, but I'm looking for some listening ears in the heart who says, you know what, God? I'm going to reorder my priorities so that you're no longer fitted in or forced in your first. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to start with an hour. You don't have to start with two hours. You start with five hours. Start with five minutes, just make it real. Because it's hard to walk 10 miles until you take the first step. So start somewhere, because I guarantee you, when you start to feel this thing, it's going to grow. When you start to feel his presence, when you start to feel his reality, when, when you know that you, you're not only relating to him, but he's relating back to you and you're seeing prayers answered, power given, restoration taking place. When you get to see him do his thing, oh, you're going to extend your time.